Jason here with Joe Quick. Uh, here today, here at Wave Fruit Farm. Uh, we were up top, we showed you how we're moving. Now we're down here moving equipment. I've already started two of the tractors. And what we're doing is we're getting them out of the way so we can move our stage back into our shop. And so it's just the process of getting everything cleaned up and ready to go for winter. Diesel engines on these tractors do not like to start real well. So I'm gonna kind of show you how, the, how they don't like to start. Oh, and then we're gonna take care of our tractor tire that's really low before we put this one away for the season. So first thing I gotta do is get this other one out of the way. This has our post pounder on it, which we will show you coming up here real shortly. We gotta put some posts, so that's why we're hooking it up anyway. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this out of the way so we can go over and try to start that one up and fill up the tire. So we'll get this out of the way and then we'll come back. All right. All right, I didn't realize this tire was low on it. Joe's gonna watch it as we start up here to make sure that it doesn't need, to make sure that we can get over closer to our pump because it would be a lot easier. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this tractor started, but I'm gonna show you how difficult it is to get started if I don't drop the key. All right, so what we need to do, first thing we need to do is take it out of gear and put our key in. Now the next thing you wouldn't really think about is it has three-point hitch arms. And what we need to do with those three-point hitch arms is they'll make it not want to start. So they're in the back and they go down by themselves. We need to drop our three-point hitch arms and this tractor can be hard to start. So let's see. Come on. You can see some smoke coming out, but it likes to be a pain to start in cold weather. So let's try it again. Uh-oh, now our battery's getting softer sounding. Sometimes I like to let it sit for a few seconds. Let that combustion heat it up a little bit. And that's our battery going dead. So, that is why I was trying to wait for a little bit warmer day. So now we're gonna have to hook up our battery charger and pump the tire. So that is how life goes on the farm sometimes. Cold weather is not good for diesel tractors and this one is particularly tough. That's why I have the other one out there running is because once I get them started, I like to let them get nice and warm. So all I really wanna do is move this one for, move this one into the shed down below so that it doesn't have any problems. So, all right, we'll be back after I charge the battery. Alright, so the very first thing I gotta do is spread my forks all the way out. These guys are not all the way out to the edges. So what we have to do, we have to get in here, pull this up, and then we've gotta shimmy them sideways. Hold on one second, I'm gonna set you guys over here to watch. Sorry, the camera fell over. They don't slide real easily. You gotta pull on them and hold and, and keep them square. So it doesn't work real well, so sorry about that. Then we're gonna go down to the stage down there and we're gonna hook up to it. Um, I'm gonna put some cardboard in here so that it doesn't scratch and we're gonna pick the whole thing up. All right, so we have a ratchet strap hooked onto it and I got cardboard in there not to scratch. What I've learned with this is that what's going to be the hardest moment for me is I'm facing downhill. Once I can get the tractor to where the, the, the weight's on me, I'm okay. Right now it's being pulled away from me down the hill. So my moment of scaringness is going to be when this starts up and we start trying to go up the hill. I'm going to have to quickly turn, get that weight on me. Same thing like when I get to the going down the hill over there, I'm going to have to go down in reverse. So I'm going to have to go reverse the whole way into the shop. So that's what's gonna get tricky.
interesting. We're gonna try to fit this in here, and Joe and I just measured. Never had it in here before because we built it and up there. You guys got to see that video if you haven't seen it. Go back and watch it on one of our previous feeds. And so what we're gonna try to do is we're gonna try to make that fit in there. I'm in first gear, so I'm not gonna go very fast because I'm gonna make sure that he's watching every part of this as we go in. So, what we need to do is make sure that we're right on target. Alright, now what I'm going to do is as we get closer here, I'm going to drop down some. I'm going to set it forward a little bit. Now we're going to go in. tractor started um, I didn't show you that because that stage was wavering on the tractor when I was trying to get the other one out of the way because we found out we didn't fit in the first door so we had to come in the second door so the stage is in there now you saw us put it in you saw from my vantage point turn the tractor around and now we're we got this started by putting the battery charger on it and now we're filling up the tire these things take a lot of air I've already done my turn now it was Joe's turn to put more air in they take about 15, 10 minutes worth of air filling to get them full. There's a lot of air in a tractor tire, and so it's amazing how much it goes down. All right, we got the tractor tire filled back up. And now here's something you don't normally think about is, I mean, we have to put fuel in our tractors. These run on diesel. Diesel gels more than gasoline. Well, gasoline doesn't gel at all in cold temperatures, which means when it gets really cold outside, that diesel will get really thick and not want to come through the lines in the tractors. It can actually freeze up in these fuel lines where it doesn't actually freeze, but it just turns to like a gel. And so they call it gelling. So what I do is I put in our diesel tank some anti-gelling, but I find that with the fuels nowadays, they have a higher level of organic matter, which makes them gel more. So I'm going to put extra in the fuel tank before I fill it up with diesel. And then I'll let it run for a little bit to make sure it gets all through all the lines. And so it's just an important process because if not, we'll go to start this sometime when it's colder. And you saw how much trouble I had already today. But if it gels, you're not getting any fuel through it and it just will not start. And so we've had that happen. The other place it happens is on these, there's a fuel filter right here. And what will happen is you'll pull that off and it'll just be solid gel and so nothing can get through the filters and the filters have catch some of the water that's in the diesel and so that's why they gel first but when they gel you're just in trouble and there's no there's no getting your there's no getting it running until you put a new filter on or clean out the lines it can take hours to get your tractor started so trying to avoid that um, by putting in extra gelling anti-gelling material before we do it and it's just they sell it everywhere and it's just it's a commercially made product that is just for um octane boost and winter anti-gel and so we'll pull it pour it right in before and again i'm putting in a little bit more than what is the recommended dose just because i've had so many problems and so we'll do that first and then i've unlocked my diesel tank and we just put the diesel in and unfortunately unlike your car that you just turn on the pump and it goes. Once I get this in there. There we go. Sorry, hard doing it, trying to keep you guys in the loop. I have to manually crank. 
every bit of diesel into the tractor. And so it can take a hundred and some pumps, almost 150 pumps to get this full. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'll be here for a few minutes and we'll get this tractor fueled up and ready for winter. All right, so the last thing we did was we moved this irrigation pump from down by the pond. You guys were there when we were having a lot of fights with this this summer. So we're gonna have to tear this apart this summer. There's something wrong in my control panel there and the battery on that side because it kept discharging the battery. So we'll stick it in the shop in here. One of these days I'll get this place cleaned up too, but I wanted to get this in and out of the weather so that way it didn't get snow and all that to try to work on it. So we'll work on this one of these days. So that's what we've been doing here at Wavefruit Farm. Just getting stuff away, getting the trees, doing the cultural things to keep the trees healthy, putting stuff away, just getting ready for winter. And so we've anti gelled all the tractors, we're moving stuff out of the weather, and we're just going to go on from there. So thank you all for watching. We appreciate you doing this, and we will be here throughout the winter serving you guys. No matter what happens with the disease and everything else, we're going to be here. Uh, lots of great things for Thanksgiving and Christmas at the store. And beyond that, we'll be doing whatever we need to do to make sure we keep serving you guys as times are still weird. All right, we thank you all for watching. Hopefully this can take away from some of that, and we'll see you soon.